There is a very common question that people ask if they should be consuming alcohol before the blood test. What do you say about it? So you know there are certain tests which have what we call as a short half life. For example, uh, some of the liver enzymes like gamma GT or a SGOT. So after taking alcohol, they spike very quickly. You know, go up very quickly, and they also come down quickly. So if you want to know whether your alcohol is causing or hurting your liver, and if you took a fairly heavy drink the previous evening and you get a blood test done today, the chances are that it will show or reflect your gamma GT and SGOT to be high. Okay, so if you want to know that if that is impacting your liver in a short term, that's a good way to do it. For that matter, if a lot of people develop abdominal pain after alcohol, and it could well be due to recurrent attacks of pancreatitis, then the test is called a amylase and a lipase blood test. Again, if you do it immediately, say one day or two days uh, within that episode, the chances are you would find that spike. If you give a gap and then you did it, and if it comes to be normal, it doesn't mean that everything is hunky dory. I mean, it means that you have missed your peak, okay? And that's one of the reasons why a lot of people who develop liver cirrhosis, they say that no, once in a while I got my liver functions done, they were okay. How can I develop cirrhosis now? That is because you know they were too keen to avoid catching the peaks, so that you know they by the time they came, the liver was already partly damaged, but they did not find the reflection in the blood tests. Okay. okay.